Hi, this is Dr. Homer Lim and you're listening to your Holistic Health Podcast. Today, we'll be discussing about past life regression. I'm sure uh, a lot of you are quite interested or are wondering what is this all about. No? So, actually, uh, this past life regression, if you are... Uh, you know, if you are familiar or if you're aware, uh, the premise or notion that there are what we call past lives. Have we had past lives? Did we have lives before this lifetime? No. So in some religions, they do agree, you know, and they do say that you have had already um, hundreds or sometimes even thousands of past lives. No. Uh, of course, in our uh, pretty much predominant uh, Catholic society. So, uh, in the Bible, past lives were never mentioned. Not so. So how did we get? I mean, personally, how did I get into these things called past lives? Actually, it started with the book by uh, Brian Weiss, "Many Lives, Many Masters." Okay, so he's actually a um, hypnotherapist. Okay, so he accidentally put someone in a very deep state of hypnosis. And then they were able to access their past lives. So after that, then I went and then I read books about, uh, again, past lives called Destiny of the Soul, Journeys of the Souls. This book is by um, Michael Newton. So so based on these books, then I was, it was pretty much clear. And even today, no, today you would see people who have what we call the near-death experience, no? near-death meaning they they already were clinically dead. And then they, you know, went to heaven or whatever dimension. Some people say dimension. Some people say heaven. Doesn't matter. So they they go into a place wherein they are met with usually their loved ones or someone that they're very close. Now these near death experiences now are very very similar to what those people in when they do an what we call yung regression or past life regression. So this is what they they experience so it's very very similar so even those that have near death experience they do realize that there are there is actually even life after death they call it no so there's life after death so uh so i guess you know to some it's very controversial to some it's taboo no you're not supposed to talk about it but it's honestly it's it's a real you know it's a real uh, phenomenon I and mean, this has been proven uh, even by other hypnotherapists as well as psych- psychiatrists who have accidentally you know put people under hypnosis into a very severe uh, I mean not severe deep state of hypnosis and they're able to access different past lives what's nice about what Michael Newton did was he was able to regress people into past lives and actually um, confirm confirm their names confirm their age their time of uh, the, the time that they were um, alive so these were how do you say confirmed that they really had these past lives or the things that they saw were actually uh, what was hap- what happened okay in their previous lives so so from there then i i guess we got more interested so one of the things that i also learned was doing what we call in past life regression so so when we do past life regression it's not something that you see on tv or in you know, you, you go, you come in, people tell you or your the healer or whoever tell you, oh, you have this past life, uh, blah, 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 blah. No, that's not how it works. No, so the, the real, when we do the regression, it has to be, there has to be some form of direction. There's something that you want to resolve. There's something that you need to get over with. Okay. Now, example would be this uh, lady, very young lady, I remember, 22, 23, she was depressed for two years no i think it was two years or three years so initially i didn't want to accept her because she was too young but then when we took when i saw the questionnaires ah okay so apparently she could not get over her uh, ex-boyfriend uh, because apparently the the ex-boyfriend uh, had a had another relationship therefore they had to should they broke off because of that another relationship so after that she went into severe depression she didn't want to go out she didn't want to go to work or even you know get out of her room so i guess for some reason she was attracted to the notion of maybe i do a past life so that's what we did surprisingly Okay, not everyone. When we do regression, not everyone can go into that deep 
semi hypnotic semi sleep semi awake state no not everyone so for her it was good because she did went into that state quite quickly i would say and then after that she saw herself as a man and her ex-boyfriend as a woman so apparently she did the same thing so after that i guess that was her release so after that she said now i understand what what was this about so if you would read the books by uh you know michael newton by brian weiss you will see these patterns wherein um these those people who are close to you they would have also been close to you or other forms of relationship that you have had in past lives so it's like you know it's really like a movie you know you go into different persons or different state like you could be a farmer you could be a queen a king or you know you could be a, a, a what's this a robber a joker right so you have different roles in different lifetimes so that's what's so funny about it is when we do realize that these why would we have so many past lives what's the point of it anyway so we the general consensus there is when we do this what we call past lives this i mean when we do have lives okay lives upon lives is because it's a form of training form of us learning lessons so that was one thing that uh, i think after that past life with that young lady she was quite happy and you could see that you know she got she got it she understood what this was all about that she should not be too much affected and she has to move on her with her life so i think that's the one thing that we really want to achieve is we want to change their outlook we want to make them aware of maybe maybe what are their problems now could be because of other lifetimes but it does not mean that you know it will solve your present problems right so some people think if i would know that i was a queen or a king so what does not it make if even if you're a king or a queen in that lifetime does not make a difference now right because now in this lifetime you're there are no queens anymore kings anymore right so so when we do past lives it's it's a more technical more deliberate no so there has to be a purpose it's just you don't just go do past life so we don't do we don't accept honestly personally i don't accept doing regression if there's no real issue that's causing them you know real problems like as i said they go into depression they have some form of anxiety attacks or they could not resolve issues with their mothers or their fathers or their loved ones then then maybe we can do you know some form of past life regression just to see if they do have issues that they need to see and understand but again not everyone do see that not everyone is capable of reaching that state of semi-wake semi-cycle okay because when we do the past life so this is what's different when we do past lives the person actually sees the events so i'm not telling or that the therapist is not the one telling you what's happening it's rather you being able to see it yourself in that semi-awake semi-sleep state okay so what we call that is somnambolic state or semi-wake semi-sleep state wherein you're able to access you know deeper memories no so so that's that quite different from what you see in movies or people telling you or you know when they go to a manguhula right or a um, fortune teller no they just tell you your past lives no it doesn't work like that so it has to be you you be able to see it experiencing it then it gives a more uh more weight as to what's really happening and make you understand what's really causing the issue if it's really causing issues in this present lifetime okay uh, i guess um i one more think one more story about past life was very very interesting there were just this person who was always sad so he would always tell me he was always sad and funny when we did look at his when he did see his other lifetimes it was always the same thing he was always he seemed to be always alone so there were there were issues with being alone so why was he being alone that we could not answer but we but from what he saw he understood so he understood that there was something in him that he has to find courage about being alone so again you know so sometimes it's not so clear immediately but after the session usually two to three days then they get the 
they get the idea of what's really happening and why is it happening to him what lessons uh, are they supposed to to learn you know so i guess this is not really being talked about often because again like in our country we're very uh, this country is very catholic so these are what we call a very taboo or maybe some people even say it's you know sinful but this this reality i mean it's been proven clinically proven that we do we can access our past lives whether people believe it or not that's their opinion right now i will read some questions from our listeners and answer them in this segment psychological trauma okay psychological trauma if it's a psychological trauma brought about by a present situation then it's not a past life issue you have to resolve we can you have to resolve the the psychological trauma at its uh, at the cause no what caused the psychological trauma not necessarily you know not necessarily doing a past life regression right i would say there will be people who be complaining of feeling uh, afraid of heights or afraid of water i mean really super scared of water or super scared of heights even though they never fell from a height they never had any uh, drowning incidents then we can do a past life because there's no memory or there's no event at that particular lifetime that they had drowning or they they fell from a high place then that we can do a how do you say a past life regression just to see if there's something wrong no but of course now are there any home remedies or food to eat for psychological trauma uh, i would say for traumas you really need to thresh it out either seek um, professional counseling uh, either with a counselor or a psychologist or a psychiatrist for foods or herbs i would suggest to help calm the mind i would suggest some uh, l-theanine a very good calm calms the nerves calms the mind no l-theanine is a very good okay francois asking is past life same as reincarnation yeah when we say past lives there that those are lives that you live in the past so in some people they do also we do see people having future lives so they actually see things in the future quite interesting uh, some people do see that so when we say past lives yes it's like you know reincarnation being in a different person at a different timeline right melan is asking does this mean we do reincarnate uh, it seems to be so it seems that we do reincarnate not only once not only t- 10 maybe hundreds maybe thousands i guess poor souls for those who have to reincarnate thousands of times that means that they've never learned the lesson right <laughs> okay miss esperanza is asking can we overcome some sickness through regression again uh, especially for those who have psychological emotional trauma that is cannot be resolved by drugs or by counseling then it might be a good idea to try some psych um, past life regression but again it's not for everyone okay are there any physical or psych- mental repercussions when doing like, past regression? Okay, so when we do past life regression, very, 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 very good question. So when we do past life regression, even before we go deep, we already ask the being, the being meaning that person, no? that being the, the, the soul of that person, if they're willing to go. Because if they are not, then we will not be pushing it through. Because some of the traumas are very traumatic. You know, one time I did exp- when we were learning or training for this regression, one of the ladies were put under regression. She actually saw herself being stabbed several times. So that was very, very traumatic. So in that point in time, you have to ask the soul if they're willing to go through the same trauma again. So of course, uh, there is, if you are not able to recognize it, then it might affect your present life. So that's why when we do past life regression, we have to ask permission. No? And I guess it's a healer's prerogative whether they want to continue or the person can is able to continue if you feel that the you know the person is a bit unhinged or not stable then we would not do it because it might tip them over to become more uh, traumatized no recurring situation has deeper meaning in the past yes yes usually recurring no not 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 really deeper meaning in the past when you have recurring issues, recurring situation in your life that in this, in your present lifetime, it's not 
has nothing to do with your past life. Something to do with your present life. You are not learning the lesson. So what lesson are you not learning? That's why you keep repeating the same uh, mistake over and over. So it's not really a past life issue. It's a, you know, recurring problems is usually a present issue that you are not willing to recognize. Okay? Is insomnia a sign of trauma or depression? Not really. No, no. Insomnia can be caused by many problems. Emotional trauma or depression can cause insomnia, but not all insomnia can be due to emotional or psychological problems. How long does the process take? The process usually would take about an hour or so. Is there any danger for people under hypnosis? The danger is we don't want it to be too noisy because then they won't be, you know, then it will have a hard time going under hypnosis. Remember when we say hypnosis, it's not literally they will not, they will not remember. So when you wake up, you still remember everything, everything that has happened, you will remember. Everything is still there. I mean, we don't put, you know, suggestions or anything into your mind. So everything is still there. Everything that has happened, you will remember. You're not put under to the point that you don't remember anything, no? It's not like what others do when just they put a recording, right? And then they put under hypnosis so they don't remember actually everything. But here when we do the regression, they do remember everything. So it's not really, you know, we put in any suggestions that might be bad for them. So that we don't do that, okay? Anxiety attacks when raining. Need by an regression, okay? If you have anxiety attacks when it rains, it could be simply because before when you were young, when there were strong rains, you know, there were big floods and you got afraid. So it doesn't have to be because of another of past. Maybe because you had experience when you were young wherein they had, you had strong rains and there were floods or whatever. So it kind of caused you some form of anxiety, no? Thank you for listening to your Holistic Health Podcast. This is Dr. Homer Lim. Now, if you do have questions about your health or you would like to request topics for our next podcast, please do message us at our FB page or Instagram at Akesis Holistic Health or you may visit our website at www.akesisholistic.com Thank you again and please do come back for our next episodes.